this thing on? Oh yeah! Hello folks, welcome back for IV1, the only Hobo Tom. If you notice up there, right there on the door of wrestling. It's kind of falling off. I have to get better tape, I think. But, oh yeah, right above the doorknob. So it's going to be there. There's a little NWA placard. Right above that, this guy was at the most recent AEW show, the last AEW live on TNT from Daly's Place, which I will get back to in a whole video sometime tomorrow. There's a lot I have to go into. A lot of video for you guys to see, including everything of CM Punk, Dan Lambert, some matches, the bloodiness, some spoiler alerts. Spoiler alert! Yeah, I'm going to be showing spoilers maybe sometime tomorrow night. Because I saw what happens on Rampage, and oh my goodness, blondes and blood arouse me. Especially bimbos. Blonde hair and blood. Oh, I digress though. I'm not here to talk about AEW. Before I have on my, well, Johnny Gargano DIY t-shirt on. I think my other wrestling shirts are in, in the watch right now. So I'm here to talk about a very, what I might as well call the COVID-19 special. But it's my day one predictions. And more importantly, it's my day one predictions about some of the matches. My predictions for my predictions. Yes, but be before I do that, I have some thank yous to give out. Birch Donnie. Thank you very much, although I'm pretty sure that was pure spam and or phishing or whatever else they call it on the cybernet nowadays. I don't care. You, sir, you somehow gave, left a comment for me, so therefore you got that six count. Look, vid, Miag. I have no idea. I even wrote it down as best as I could. You're just a master of the air guitar.
And I so apologize. I don't speak Russian. I don't write in Cyrillic. Cyrillic's that language, as Family Guy so eloquently puts, uses the letters and symbols that only they use. First Russian guy, yours are chilling with your briefcase boombox. And the second Russian guy, I don't know, just crawl out of there. As I said before, I'm not going to bother butchering your names. Um, I think a couple nights ago I was trying to get some sleep. Or I actually got home early, got some stuff done. Oh, it was Tuesday. I just didn't feel like going to the gym. I'm like, you know what? I do have to eat dinner still. I'll watch this Only Happens in Russia videos. Oh my goodness, I think they're drunk all the time. Again, look at those nice two additions there to the door of wrestling. Um, but wait a second. I'm forgetting something. Yes, it's time. It's time for some predictions and guesses about predictions because that's the only way to put it. A um, whole bunch of rumors running rampant. One is Seth Rollins came down with COVID-19 even though he was inoculated against COVID-19. Omicron. But yeah. Whatever that is. Yeah, that's not the orgy song. That's a different song I'm thinking of. Opticon? I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to find that now. Now I'm confused. Never good to have a confused hobo around. But yeah, let's see here. Um, so these are my my match predictions and the predictions for the matches at the same time. I know we're going to have the Edge and Miz. The only way Miz could look better after getting all that brown and black goo dumped on him and his most voluptuous, breasty, chesty, buxom, mommy bag, show me where babies feed wife, Maurice, you can get any monochrome of revenge or even self-respect now, he has to beat Edge, I'll tell you what, I don't care about this match, I, I would snooze through this match if I were you. And then I'm guessing this pay-per-view turns out to be a good Raw. So then we have Charlotte Flair and I'll say taking on Tony Storm again. Charlotte Flair wins. Yeah, not much I can do and or say about that. Tony Storm's way too green to have that belt. That's not happening. Then we have RK Bro versus the Street Profits. This is actually intriguing to me. Because this could be a really good match if they want it to be. But I'm saving those for actually the last two matches. Um, I have a funny feeling the Street Profits are going to get those belts. I'll say the Street Profits win. Then somewhere on the card we'll have Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. Again. They have to end this here, I hope. Day one. Is day one is ish, or day one is H, or day one ish. But I, I just hope this becomes day zero, and, and they finish this ridiculous feud. Although I will give her this. I'll say Liv Morgan actually takes the belt. So yeah, I'm, I'm being bold and probably pretty stupid and tired and did not have enough caffeine yet. And I still have to go hobo. And go to the gym. And eat. Jeez. I have a lot to do still. Okay, so let's see here. So, in my match of the night. You're going to have 
probably Big E versus Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley. Because remember, they did waive the 10-day quarantine to five. And if Seth Rollins gave him enough notice. They could, he could actually, as long as he tests negative, he could actually be part of this. I say Bobby Lashley, the almighty wins. And that's my match of the night. And then to counter that, my stone cold lock of the night. It's Roman Reigns taking on Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns, I think, is going to win. By that, something screwy is going to happen. And therefore... Okay, I was curious what that little... That just means I'm getting old. Something screwy is going to happen. Or is that actually on my screen? Dope, that's why. Why does my screen make me look three years older than I am? It's giving me age spots on my face that I don't have. I don't know, maybe that is. We'll see. I'll go take a look at that in the mirror, I hope. But yeah, Roman Reigns is going to win by some screwy way. The good thing about this, this will set things up probably... For the Royal Rumble, which is in January, for Brock Lesnar to face Roman Reigns. So that could be interesting. Again, you want to know where Paul Heyman sits on this? I would, if, I, if this was WCW, it would be a Paul Heyman on a forklift match. So, yeah, we'll see where this goes. So... Those are my predictions. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll be posting this probably actually later tonight or super, super early. Um, Friday morning. And when I mean super early, I mean like 2 in the morning. Tomorrow, there's going to be a couple of videos out there. One, it's going to be my amateur night for the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League because that's, that's all... New Year's Eve is to me just amateur hour out there with people who think they can drink, driving cars that they think they can drive at speeds that makes them think they're part of the Daytona 500, which are obviously not. That and I'm going to be making my video. I have to give my give my takes on what I saw at AEW, three shows in one. Some good, some bad, some arousing, and some ugly. Where did Rousing fit in there? Oh, I know. But yeah. So, other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please let me know what, what you guys think about my predictions and predictions about predictions. Put that on that side. I'll be having a nice little feast. I'm going to have, make, maybe I'll even make a video of it. Who knows? I'm going to make myself a... No, I won't because I've already done that. A stuffed crust steak and onion pizza. That sounds good. Other than that, I'm going to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And well, you guys will see me tomorrow. Oh yeah, news and notes. I've already seen Rampage, so I'm not doing a show about a show that I've already seen. And SmackDown's just doing their year in review. Who cares about that? So yeah, it'll just be like the bunch of videos going up tomorrow that I myself made. And the New Year's Day, I'll be posting up my New Year's Day bash. At the beach. At the at, at, at Daytona Beach, actually. The bum fight bash. Um, New Year's Day bum fights. Always fun to watch. And then later that night, I'll be, re I'll be, you'll be doing a live watch along somewhat. With, about day one. So we'll see what happens. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, if you are going to drink, just, just stay at your friend's house. Drink too much and just crash. Don't drive. Don't 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 put innocent hobos' lives at risk. We have to earn a living too by collecting aluminum. 
That's what I'm doing next. So yeah, don't drink and drive. You might wind up running me over. And that would be bad. It's a vehicular homicide. It's not good.